critics have accused the Home Secretary of indulging in nothing more than a glorified photo op. And yes, of course, these are powerful images. But Suella Braverman's visit here is not just about the eye-catching symbolism. The UK government desperately needs the agreement with Rwanda to succeed. Without a third country willing to take relocated asylum seekers, the government's illegal migration bill is almost certain to stumble at the first hurdle. So a meeting with the Rwandan president, Paul Kagame, was on the agenda as the UK strengthens its partnership agreement. The Home Secretary certainly packed a lot into her two-day schedule, visiting new housing developments and other support services being geared up to accommodate thousands of asylum seekers who may end up here in the months ahead. The plans still have their critics, of course, TV presenter Gary Lineker, opposition politicians and others. But Suella Braverman told me no one should judge unless they've been here. Would you encourage them actually to come here and see for themselves what Rwanda has to offer those who would come here and settle? Absolutely. I think there has been far too much uh, prejudice, frankly, snobbery, uh, amongst the critics, who most of, uh, most of whom haven't even visited uh, Rwanda. This is my third visit to Rwanda. Uh, this is a welcoming country, it's a dynamic economy. So to all of those critics uh, who display uh, a gross prejudice against Rwanda, uh, I tell them to visit first uh, and then judge. An important stop-off for Suella Braverman was this huge tech hub in the capital, Kigali home to hundreds of startups and companies from around the world. Rwanda is home to a burgeoning tech sector. The Norskin Kigali House in particular has over uh, 200 companies, startups that are stationed out of here, uh, also organizations that support startups, and uh, we have more than a thousand members. Now, 55% of these are from other African countries. The Kepler Academy, high in the hills over Kigali, another example, says the Home Secretary, of the many education services Rwanda can provide asylum seekers. This well-established, well-respected local university has already committed to ensuring up to 25% of the students enrolled here will be refugees. But like the many housing complexes around this capital city, they have absolutely no idea just how many people they'll eventually be asked to accommodate. For in truth, the Home Secretary doesn't even know how many asylum seekers may eventually have to be sent here. It could be many thousands, but Home Office officials are quietly hoping that just like the Australian initiative against the small boats, once they finally start relocating asylum seekers, the people smuggler's business model will be broken. It's a big gamble, and this country is a vital component. Mark White, GB News, in the Rwandan capital, Kigali.